Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! Mm. Or from somewhere else. Get an injury tea. You got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cur- <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you. Oh. For trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this. Sorry, bro. Screen change for no more in the day. Unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> Gonna tell me right now what the Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the uh, they're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad. Bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck, man! This fucking lab dog. He comes sniffing around this part of the world. Rich fucks in the woodlands need a shit. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Keep on right. doing this. We've had it worse. But I'll manage. I don't have big Snows the remedy. Tell the kids' presence. Mm. 
ఆఫ్టర్ తమ్మి You're making this more difficult than it has to be. For will side the following. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Bigby. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. That's very helpful. Thank you. Not a door, dude. so good De detective brannigan i'm detective brannigan uh yeah i know I, i just said that is there something do you hear that <gasps> okay this one please please <laughs> okay. We have to go now. Yeah, what did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and mm. everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, Can hurry up. Okay, so it's a different thing. Okay, photo. Okay. found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. Game capture the of the children. But display capture is more. All of them. Zoom game. 
screen Here is in the game. I know what you're thinking, Big B. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than dies now for it to be That's snow something. I've never been good with these sorts of things I just can't believe this is really happening just wanted to close it our stories used to be so simple we had a beginning a middle and an end but ever since we moved to this awful city everything's gotten so confused Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to... I have to put an end to this. I mean, there's a glory in the room. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby, for Miss White. I got it. Clinic key. Look like a key. Basement. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. Bluebeard. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Shh. Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, mm. dummy. I still have questions for you, D. I don't care. Sounds like a personal problem. Back in the alley, you mentioned your employer. Who is it? Who are you working for? <laughs> Why? You looking to change your occupation? All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Gift photo. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. Snow was murdered, D. She was... important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. So little, Linda. Just tell me who your employer is. I'd like to help you, but I can't. My brother and I, we got a thing about loyalty. We do our job and we keep our mouths shut. If we don't hold up our end, we don't get paid. Your brother? Okay. Where was he last mm. night? 
I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Mm -hmm. Just let me go, all right? I don't have any answers for you. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? I'm looking at you then. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. Well, mm. there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. Mm. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. You did not get It's... I'm saving that. This is really... What's the point of this? This is how it's gonna be. What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. <sighs> Let me handle this. What did you want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief. More trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. She stole from you? She didn't steal anything from me, jackass. It was from my boss. You think I got anything worth stealing? Your boss? Well, that brings me back to my first question. Who are you working for? Come on, D. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No, I'm fucking done. You just carry this around? It ain't illegal, is it? You burned my fucking hand! And now, you wanna be best friends? No fucking way! You're out of your mind! Look, things got out of hand. We're past it now. Won't happen again. Unbelievable. I couldn't hurt, I guess. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough?
Okay. Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard. You were making progress before. What is this patty cake shit? Bluebeard committed. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now, you... You enjoying yourself? Immensely. Stop! What the fuck do you think you're doing? What's going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead... I was working on this case. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. Mm -hmm. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I'm glad you took care of things. Thanks. No. What is it? Are are you going to be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like What is it? I just I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. Yeah. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? 
Because that's what my job is right now. That's not what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. Mm. TJ is waiting inside. TJ. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I I want to be there. Buffkin. Buffkin? Do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Okay. Oh, that's enough. Uh, Mira, finish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. I'm just doing my job, Toad. Your job is to protect us. That's not what you've been doing. That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Bigby. Will you do anything to hurt me, boy? It's okay. Just start from the beginning. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. Okay. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're okay. Just... Tell me what you saw. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! Did he? <laughs> it's okay, son. Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady yeah. fell in. But but she didn't have her head on. I thought I, I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? 
I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! <laughs> Leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No! <laughs> okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise! I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> you did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. Hey, Mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. You probably knew Snow was alive the whole time, didn't you? Possibly so, but the moment has passed. You didn't rhyme, and you never asked. But as you know, I'm quite prolific, if you want me to show you someone specific. Woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. Well, that's helpful. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. Arjakana. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. I did it. 
Come on. Pitching bell chamber. Down the bell. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. This is weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. It looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Rope marks. Oh, rope she was marks. tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like... Track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? Okay. It's not technically illegal, illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Still okay? I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. <laughs> what have you found out? She was using Monday drugs. Pretty heavily, too. 
Judging by the track marks on her legs. Track marks? Isn't there... there are diseases? I don't think she has to worry about that now. No. No, of course not. We should keep going. Are you wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic, though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh no. What is it? It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go. Go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. 
This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White! Mm. I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. About you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. He's still supposed to be in custody. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Big B, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to- Jack, find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Holly. What? Big B, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? Mm -hmm. And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? It's an honest question. Ah! Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Gren, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. All right then. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. <sighs> Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't.
We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. We don't know what's important yet. I mean, isn't that evident? She was killed for a brooch? Just next time clear it with me, all right? Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamored as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was probably about... She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. <sighs> well, you've been a tremendous help. Truly. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of, it, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know. I'll check with the deputy mayor about that. He'd want to be kept in the loop. This is really important to me. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office and We'll see what we can do. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier.
Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or... Or pleasure. Or both. Yes, of course. You'd better talk to Georgie. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that... Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. Then again, maybe he's not the only one. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu, and discretion is our guarantee.
Cambridge.
We lost the screen map now. Shouldn't have messed with that. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Was it good for you, Sheriff? Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me! I'm begging you, I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, Nate, leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so he can be happy about that. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie. Who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl's. I'm not the fucking secretary. 
I give them a stage, I give them music, I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office? Yeah, that's right. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Lock's been busted open. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. You have legs. Had a glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa... I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. I need to know about one of Lily's, uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. By design. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips... Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with...
with me. With me. That's not why I'm here. We could make all the usual arrangements. The usual place. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. This isn't enough, but it's all I've got. Wait here for a sec. Second. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh. You. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? 
Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no! Wait a minute! How could you do this? We've been together through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! You're cheating on me! With him?! No, no, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- <laughs> Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! I don't want to hurt you, so just calm down and- Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing?! You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Big Beast! I told you! Just stop!
You ruined everything! Jeez. She's my fucking wa- This? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You- you don't want to see this. Shit. What is it? Oh! Oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then- must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But- Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and the weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? He brought wine. Classy. God. <sighs> Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then... and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? 
This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it, to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Pictures of the dead girl? Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. He could be after you now. Good! I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel! I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? <laughs> Did you keep punching on him? Do not insult this person. Okay. 
Ibis. So, bye guys, see you on the next, and nice thing. Bye bye.